The UK railways are among the safest in the world, but things can go wrong. And when they do, is the job of the Rail Accident Investigation Branch to carry out an independent investigation. Our scope includes passenger, freight trains, the metro services, tramways and the Channel Tunnel. We deploy a team of inspectors to an accident site about 40 times a year. This is how we operate. I'm an RAIB duty coordinator. When an accident is reported, it's my job to decide which accidents to send a team to. I get as much information about the accident as I can from the railway industry, but I also use our own information and information available on the internet. We have offices in Farnborough and Derby, and we have inspectors on call 24-7. This means I can quickly deploy teams to simultaneous accidents in different parts of the country if needed. When we arrive on the scene, we will liaise with other agencies and we will manage the site investigation. Our priority is to examine the site, work out what evidence is important and then collect it. This usually involves taking photographs and measurements and sometimes it will include securing key evidence such as the train or tram's black box, signalling data or CCTV footage. Sometimes we'll use a drone or specialist equipment for surveying. We will also interview the people involved and sometimes that can include passengers. Our work on site can take a few hours or a few days, but we'll work as quickly as we can in order to release the site and help get services back up and running again. Once we get back to base, our detailed examination of the evidence continues. Our investigating team prepares a briefing for other specialists in the branch and this helps us to identify what actions we need to take. If we have immediate safety concerns, then we issue urgent safety advice. For some accidents, it's very clear that we will need to undertake a full investigation. Now, sometimes this can involve undertaking special tests. We use timelines and causal analysis to guide our investigations and to identify what additional evidence we need to collect. When this is all complete, we write a report which sets out our findings, and this goes through a series of internal reviews before it's shared. If we decide not to carry out a full investigation, we may still choose to write up what we know from the evidence and share the key safety learning in a safety digest. During our investigations, we keep the railway industry informed of progress and the safety issues we have identified, and we consult with everyone involved in the accident. We make safety recommendations, and these are to improve railway safety. I'm pleased to say these are taken very seriously by the railway industry, and mostly to substantive actions. The safety authorities monitor progress with our recommendations. Thankfully, railway accidents occur very rarely. But when they do happen, the RAIB makes an important contribution to making Britain's railway safer for everyone. <laughs>